Hi, I'm Anthony Romerell and welcome to CG for Me. What I'm going to do now, I've colorized and changed the radius of my joints. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to place the joints where they need to go in the character. So I'm going to close out some of my windows and switch to some of my multiple views. And I'll start by placing the arm in the correct place. And the clavicle should go pretty tight next to, if you look at, the, at a clavicle on yourself, the clavicle is really, really close to your body. So I'm going to pull that in. I'm going to push my shoulder into the meat of my shoulder. One thing you want to know when you are, you are adjusting joints, you want to go to your move tool and make sure you're moving them only on the local rotation axis in X. Otherwise, you're going to throw off your joint orientation. So let me give you a demo here. So at this point on, I'm just going to only rotate and then move my joints on the local axis, only in X. If I move them in Z, you can see it's going to throw off my joint orientation. And I don't want to do that. So do not move in Z and do not move in Y. You only want to move it in X. And that will maintain the orientation of the parent joint. So I'm going to do a little bit of rotation here. And uh, one thing to know about joints is you want to set them pretty close to where some geometry is. So this underlying geometry is right here on this, where this is edge loop. I want to set that right in there. Now my rotate values, I'm going to make them nice even numbers. So let's say a rotation value of 5. And then I'll rotate this one. Let's see, something like negative 5. So there I've set my arm. I'm going to set my leg. Switch my view. There looks like a pretty good spot. Now you want to set your leg so that it's a little higher. A little higher. And that's why I have my geometry here on an angle so that when I pull the leg up, I can maintain the mass. And I'm simply going to rotate my joint like this. Let's say in Y, we're going to do negative 90. And then I'll rotate it in Z which of course gives me these numbers. Now I'm rotating on local axis, so I'm not rotating in gimbal. You want to animate in gimbal, but for now this is fine just to set the joints. You go to my side view, and let's say I rotate this something like negative 12 degrees. Move the next joint down to where the knee should be, and I'll rotate this something like negative 24 and then my ankle will go let's say about there and I'll rotate it let's say 12 degrees and I have my leg set now it's time to finish the other joint, so I'm going to take my root joint, I'm going to hold down V and I'm going to snap it to my hip, and then hold down X and then snap it to the grid. Oops, got a little jumpy there. I'm going to hold V, snap it to there, and uh, just type 0 in for translate X because it should be right in the middle. I'm going to hold V and snap the pelvis to the root. And I'm also going to snap the lower back to the pelvis. So these should all be relatively in the same place. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to grab the neck and put it there too. So I'm going to rotate all, th all of these at one time. So I'm going to get my rotate tool. Just like this. 
and I'm going to adjust my number so this should be negative 90 this should be 0 this should be 90 degrees and this is what I'm looking for uh, for orientation on each object it's my opinion that you have Y going in the direction that fights gravity the most so your up value is fighting gravity so most of the time you fight gravity going up on the leg most of the time you fight gravity going up on the arm and most of the time you fight gravity going backwards on the net on the back so if you were leaning over you'd fight gravity going this way